Now, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee, sponsored by your Wisconsin Chevy Super Dealers. Although it is a little breezy and it's a little chilly, <laughs> visually it is a beautiful night here in southern Oconto County. In fact, it's, uh, it's stunning here along the uh, Machikini flowage. The water looks beautiful. The sun just set beyond the western shoreline and the waxing gibbous is rising in the east. The full moon is only about 48 hours away and already it looks spectacular. And speaking of spectacular, that's what we're going to have as far as weather conditions are concerned to check out some of the peak color that we came up to Southern Oconto County to see as we head through the next four or five days today. Kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine, gusty winds and cool conditions. High temperatures this afternoon only in the upper 40s to lower 50s across the area with a high of 53 in Green Bay. Today was the coldest day in six months and tonight will be the coldest night in six months. Now earlier today we had some scattered showers out there. They continued throughout the afternoon across parts of Door County, but now there is not a cloud in the sky and that sets the stage for a very chilly night, not only here in Northeast Wisconsin, but across much of the country. We are on the northern edge of a large chunk of real estate that is covered by either freeze warnings, frost advisories or freeze watches tonight. High pressure building in across Minnesota. That will be our main weather maker for tonight and really for the foreseeable future. The clockwise flow around it right now, cooling things down across the Western Great Lakes. Temps only in the 40s and 50s, 5, 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. But to our west on the back side of it with south to southwest winds, temperatures were in the 60s and 70s today across Wyoming and Montana. And yeah, that heat is going to start shifting east here as we uh, wrap up the work week. Tomorrow temperatures will jump about five to eight degrees compared to what we saw today. After a chilly morning, we'll see upper 50s to around 60. Skycast shows total sunshine across the area tomorrow, mixing with perhaps a few fair weather stratocumulus clouds. Clear tomorrow night, another cold one, upper 20s to lower 30s. And then on Thursday, once again, lots and lots of sunshine out there. And as winds begin to shift to the south and west, the temperature will begin to shift upwards. I think by the time we get to Thursday afternoon with winds gusting out of the southwest 20 to 25 miles per hour, we will be looking at upper 60s to around 70 degrees, 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. And even warmer weather is on the way. Now, when we get to mid-October, you usually start thinking, we're probably done with the 70s, but that's not necessarily the case. Back in 2022, after October 15th, we had eight days with highs in the 70s, and we've got a lot of 70s on the way. Tonight, 70s inside if you really pump up the heat, 20s and 30s outside. Tomorrow, a pretty nice day, lots of sunshine, warmer upper 50s to around 60. My three degree guarantee is 58. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Fondy Food Pantry. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 52. The actual high was 53 degrees. So after 50s tomorrow, say goodbye to the cooler weather, 70 on Thursday, and then up into the 70s for this weekend. It looks absolutely beautiful. We'll be back in just a few minutes.